Let's dive into 10 apps built in Flutterflow by entrepreneurs, developers, and designers, including an app with 250,000 users and 100K in revenue, apps built by ex-Microsoft product leads and YC founders, and side projects turned venture-backed startups. The apps we'll cover have been deployed on Android, iOS, the web, or a private server for internal applications. Let's go. First up, an app built by two ex-Microsoft product leads. Silver is a web app that simplifies the process of claiming flexible spending accounts and health saving accounts, reimbursements offered through work benefits in the US. It uses a custom Chrome extension to automatically collect and process receipts from major retailers like Amazon, Costco, and Walgreens. Although the extension was built with custom code, the Flutterful app uses a custom action to share an authentication token with the extension and begins a receipt workflow within the Flutterflow web app. Within the app, Silver creates the necessary claim paperwork, submits it on the user's behalf, and allows you to sign their claim paperwork in-app by utilizing a custom component. With a Superbase backend, the team launched their first version in two months to early users in a production environment. On average, it has found $330 per person of eligible retail purchases. Here's the founder on why they chose to develop on Flutterflow. Hi, my name is Dan Somrak, and I'm the co-founder of Silver. Been in the product management field for the last uh, 12 or so years. And when you're building software, you never know if it's going to get used or if people will find it valuable until they have a chance to try it themselves. And oftentimes you want to spend as little amount of engineering time on something before you actually have it validated. And uh, even though I've done programming in the past, um, even though I know how to code and I know people who could do the coding for us. We really wanted to use Flutterflow instead of going straight into code because it allowed us to very quickly iterate a bunch of different concepts and uh, see if people would use it. And what we liked about Flutterflow, probably from the beginning, was knowing that we can always export the code into Flutter. There was a really clear grow up story, which uh, we didn't see with other platforms that we uh, had used in the past for other, other projects. Next up, a private affordable digital healthcare platform for developing countries. Trust EHR is an internal enterprise-level hospital management system that connects hospitals, doctors, pharmacies, and patients in one ecosystem. Trust EHR was a brainchild of two pharmacists with retail pharmacies across the US and Nigeria. With 68 pages of user journeys, 85 plus custom components, a Superbase backend, and APIs for third-party and legacy system integrations, it's a complex app with big impact. Their beta has actually expanded to become integrated hospital management software that connects to their legacy pharmacy system and also now has public APIs for developers to integrate with other healthcare systems. Third, we have a cross-platform finance app built by two XYC founders. Atlas is a new credit card platform that saves users $1,850 every year on average and has 5x higher approval rates and grows with you. With over 100K plus downloads and a 4.6 rating on the App Store, Atlas continues to build on Flutterflow and grow their business. Next up, our App of the Year winner for 2023. AB.Money is a meditation app built for a creator that engages over 250,000 users and reports over $100,000 in client revenue. And it hit number one in the education category in Eastern Europe. This app was built by the agency at Appful based in the Czech Republic in less than two months after switching to Flutterflow. With a 4.8 rating in the App Store, AB.Money has both Russian and English versions of the app. It features courses, interactive questions, meditations, and more to engage its users. We started building uh, AB Money approximately two years ago. And at the beginning, we are uh, using Adele. And we actually built uh, this app with a small amount of uh, features inside. And we realized uh, that uh, we cannot uh, scale up quickly. Uh, due to limitations of Adela, so approximately at three or four thousand uh, users, uh, our app uh, started to, to freeze, and also we, uh, our clients, wanted from us to make new features which can be done in Adela. Uh, so that's why we switch it to Flutterflow. From a beautiful side project to a funded startup, two students have created a new gifting experience. Gifted is an early stage startup that uses an AI persona called Sherlock to identify gifts for your friends. The team integrated a seamless WhatsApp and iMessage experience through their Flutterful application to allow friends to find gifts for each other. 
the application utilizes web scraping to identify gifts online and features a robust Shopify integration. The founders recently received early funding to continue their development on Flutterflow. Postai is like an Uber for handymen in Croatia, say the founders. Available on both iOS and Android platforms, it serves as a double-sided marketplace connecting users in Croatia with local handyman services from plumbing to gardening. There's an app for users and one for handymen to sign up to use the platform. The development of Postai has led to over 32,000 app downloads across both Google Play and Apple app stores and around 3,000 active users. Postai has also received early funding from pre-seed investors and was featured on five different new channels in Croatia when they launched. Next, an application for dentists. DentoRx offers a comprehensive solution for medication management, featuring medication analysis, antibiotic prescribing, and aesthetic dosages, alongside an in-app pharmacist consultation. The app features several modules, including patient medication history, prescribing monographs, and practice guidelines, all built with native components in Flutterflow. And now it has been launched in the market for other practitioners to utilize. The Ministry of Energy and Infrastructure in the UAE, in collaboration with Merahub, launched the Blue Pass project to have a unified database of maritime companies and commercial ships operating the ports of the UAE. Mohammed, a product manager at Merahub, started building on Flutterflow due to the tight delivery timeline. The company was looking for an easy way to create one application that allows multiple users to create accounts, view different UI dashboards, and contribute to the same database. The private web app serves three types of users, UAE stakeholders, marine suppliers, and service providers with various custom pages, navigation components, and functionalities presented to each user type. Over 50 service providers and over 30 ship owners are currently on the platform. Next up, we have Player Finder, an app that offers an easy way to find the perfect gaming partner by creating similar interest lobbies. Player Finder features a two-way Discord integration allowing users to create lobbies directly from Discord or the application. It uses Supabase for its backend and has integrated premium features to continue building for its audience. With 3,600 users already on the platform after its recent launch, the team continues to update the app quickly by taking advantage of their ability to iterate and launch with Flutterflow. Last but not least, an app that warms our hearts and serves families. Totoy is a multi-language document explainer that allows you to upload images of documents, receive explanations in your mother language, and ask questions about the document. Built by Francis and his team, Francis built the app to help second-generation migrants to understand legal documents outlined in a different language. Totoy always answers in your language and uses Flutterflow's localization capabilities and AI to translate and allow other individuals to ask questions about their documents. You can download it now on the Play Store and App Store. Shout out to our incredible builders. Because of your hard work, Flutterflow apps are continuing to serve millions of users and impact local businesses and economies. Keep building different. If one of these stories inspired you or you would like to know more, you can find more in-depth case studies below. If you want to share your own story, fill out the form below. Until then, we'll see you in the next one.